Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Ramon coming to you with another lesson all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I'll start by saying, Kahal uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakal Kodash. Double honors as always goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well. And peace, blessings, and salutations towards the brothers, that, the sincere brothers out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. You know, to you all, you know, Shalom, Shalom. So, this lesson, I want to say, I want to title this lesson, um, you know, be mindful, be mindful of who teaches you. All right, because, you know, the, these false prophets are being exposed, man. They're exposing themselves. Okay, and let, you know we can go through the lists of their follies, man. You know you have um, camps out there f fighting over um, campgrounds. You know the scriptures tell you not to uh, uh, build another man's foundation. All right, you have camps out there talking about. You know, having uh, uh, numerous amounts of bitches, you know, and I'm saying it how they're saying it. That's not how I, you know, that's not how I would speak, you know, unless I'm talking about wicked women. You know, you got camps out there talking about, you know, if you ain't smoking weed, you know, then, you know, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Basically, these are so these guys, man. Are, you know they're living they're, they're still of this world man alright and they claim to be prophets you know you got to get them out there making all these rap records man acting like gangsters man and a lot of them are going to camp strapped up anyway man so you know where's your faith you know, what, are you supposed to go under your protection from the most high man alright he said he sets his angels, man, amongst his uh, prophets, man, for protection. Uh, amongst other things. So you should be mindful, man. You should be circumspect. You should be able to see really um, who are the sincere teachers in this truth of ours, and who are not. I mean, when you've got guys telling you to smoke weed, get bitches, and making rap songs, acting, acting, it's all in your, the countenance, man, it's, it's in your appearance, man, the scriptures tell you, um, what, um, avoid the appearance, I'm paraphrasing it, avoid the appearance of evil, man, you can't tell these, the evil in these guys, these, these, these camps where they're all wearing, dressed in all black, wearing sunglasses, no matter what time of the day, they're in the streets, rapping like gangsters, throwing up gang signs, to continue to smoke weed, you know, Dancing and smoking weed and, and, and going strip clubs at, at, on um, Passover and all of that. Now, these guys are wicked niggas, man. I'm just going to say it as it is. And I, I notice I've, I've said no names of any camps or any people because there's no need, man. Look, even in Great Millstone, you get bug outs, man, and they get called out. All right, and then, then they're no, then, and they get called out and, um, excommunicated man so they're no longer a part of what we call great millstone man there are brothers out there that teach the same doctrine of great millstone man and don't um call themselves great millstone so it's not about necessarily the name it's all through the spirit of course but it's not necessarily about that man so you got to choose wisely man you know what are you what exactly are you what um learning from these guys for you know, what is, um, what is your, what are you looking for? You know, are you looking for uh, some new gang to join? Are you looking for someone, to, people to go out, party with? Uh, you know, are you looking for some new friends? Because this is not what this is about, man. This is about the truth, coming into the knowledge of the truth and teaching it. You know? 
keeping the laws, statutes and commandments to the best of your abilities, man. Because a lot of these guys talk about the law, the law, the law, the law, and they're the last people to even attempt to keep it, man. Now, these, a lot of these guys are sold out as well. Think about that. You know? Let me read this anyway. So, Isaiah 30 and 20 says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, because there's a point I'm going to make from this, and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Right? So, first and foremost, man, a lot of these guys aren't even going out, you know, um, in all seasons, man. All right? Sometimes you don't see these guys out all, you know, all the four seasons of, of, the, of the year, man. With rain, sleet, snow, baking, hot days. You don't see these guys. All right? So they're failing in that respect. How are you going to get your, your, your edification if they're not always out there doing their due diligence, man? 21 says, And then I shall hear, then ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. They're not, when they're telling you, uh, you know, smoke weed and get bitches and, you know, let's party on the Passover and you know, let's make rap records and, you know, whatever madness they come up with, man. That's not the way. That is not in the scriptures, is it? It's like these guys have given up on even trying to pretend that they're teachers anymore. You know? And I was going to find all the videos, but I can't, you know, there's, what's the point? It's just wasting my time. You know? But you got, you know, you know the camps, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to not even name them, man, because we, it's not really about naming them. It's about showing you what you're supposed to look for when you are avoiding these guys, man. And that reminds me of a scripture. I just can't remember which one it is. Let me see if I can get it like this. <coughs> yeah, this is the one. Romans 16 and 17 says, And now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So when you come into this thing, man, there's a base level, of course. So you're going to learn the basics. And that's how you come in and you start deciding, that, you know, who am I going to watch? Who am I going to get my edification from, right? So you've already learned some stuff. Otherwise, if you didn't learn anything, you wouldn't be... You know, you wouldn't be trying to watch uh, particular camps for their um, teachings, man. So you take what you've learned already and apply the scriptures, man. And you'll see those that are only there for your detriment. Right? The scripture tells you to avoid them, man. If they're, if they're, if they're offending the doctrine and if they're contrary to the doctrine, avoid these guys, man. There's no way that you the scriptures tell you to, you should be smoking weed and and look no one's saying you can't have multiple women. But really and truly in this time that we're in, man, you're gonna find a virtuous woman. That's because that's the whole point, man. If you can't find a virtuous woman in this kingdom, well, what's the point of trying to gain more than one of them? All you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is have a ga a, a, a gaggle of demons, man. All right. So it's not about that right now, you know. And I remember I can't remember who it was it um the apostles I believe saying that you know not every man is gonna that, listen. It, you're not required to have more than one woman, man. That's a, that's a personal choice. Or one of the elders said that man. I can't remember which one. Slacking what. You know, just just as a side note, man. This is that's not a doctrine, like that's not a law or anything. You, you know, even and I'm talking in the kingdom, man. You're not required to do that. You don't have to do that. But as you know, as Jake's, we like getting in them, so I'm pretty sure 
that will be the case, you know, just of the spirit of of, of Jacob, man. Anyway, verse eighteen says, "For they that for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shemashek, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple." And that's what you guys that are following these these demons are, man. You're simple because you're following for entertainment. You want to be in this world, so you want to be a part of the doctrine or a part of the truth, but you want to remain being part of this world as well, man. You can't switch, you can't serve two masters. The scriptures tell you that, man. And like I said, if and like the scriptures say, man, if you're applying these things, man, then you won't, then you will know. Like that song, um, was it Black Men United? You will know, man. You will know. You'll know when you're, um, look, uh, I, I'm saying that and in the same breath I'm thinking to myself look yeah if you're if the Lord's dealing with you you'll know but if he's not dealing with you you won't man because these camps are basically set up to destroy the two thirds man all right to condemn the two thirds really and truly if you really want to go there that's what they're there for all right but it's not to say that you know you can follow people that are going off and come to the, the realization that you are man as I remember doing that I remember coming into this truth and listening to all types of people teaching all types of things but they were Israelites and they knew that they were Israelites and they were teaching certain things that were correct and they were teaching, teaching a lot of things that were incorrect but through the spirit we are the Lord was dealing with me to bring me to the knowledge, the correct knowledge, man, and to avoid and, uh, and to avoid these uh these demons out here, man. Acts 20. And <clears throat> 28 it says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the over the which the, the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High Yahweh, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Meaning he purchased with his own blood, like his own son, Yahweh Shai. Right. For the, for I know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Right. And not sp they're not sparing the flock, man, because these guys don't give a shit about the outcomes, man, or the end. The end game of what they're actually doing out here, man. You know, as Ezekiel talks about, the, the blood is going to be upon their hands, man, because. You know, the, 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 these people's blood are going to be upon their hands, man. Because they went out there and deceived them. Taught them things they're not all to teach, man. It says, and, um, Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. See, because they these other camps can only shit talk about um, the true teachers in GMS. Right, but they can't. They, when I say shit to them, I mean they can only talk lies, and deceit. If you notice, no one can call call out the men of GMS for posting up videos of fighting in between camps and uh, and partying on Passovers and talking about and smoking, and smoking weed, playing dominoes, and there's nothing wrong with playing dominoes, man. But the whole you know, there's a video out there of a particular camp, man, and they're sitting around like there's some sort of house party, drinking, drinking juice and. And playing dominoes and talking about smoking weed and getting bitches and all this sort of stuff, man. Where there's no edification there, man. You know, there's no edification in that. You know, there's no edification there whatsoever, man. Right, Jude, Jude one, or Jude. There's only one uh, chapter. It says, beloved or beloved, verse 3, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you 
that he should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So, yeah, so there's no one in these camps that are sitting there thinking this ain't right. You know, we got you know I've got to call this shit out. Because they're just followers, man. Listen, as much as we we um we respect and we believe that the apostles are the true leaders of Israel, man, we still they they still teach us to do our own due diligence, man, as the scripture says, to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we can't rely on anybody but ourselves, man. That's why you have to be diligent and circumspect in who you're who's teaching you, man. Men are some men are some men are set up to deliver you the truth and some are set up to deceive you. And the majority are, are, are set up to deceive you, unfortunately. Because all these other camps they're going off in one way or another. <clears throat> Verse four says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Verse five says, "I will therefore put you in remembrance, <coughs> though ye knew, though you though ye once knew this." Right? What does that mean? What does that mean, man? And that's going into something completely. That's going into um, reincarnation, right? Because we were there in the desert, man. We were there in Egypt, right? In that slavery. It says, "How that?" The, so it says, "I will therefore put you in remembrance." Though ye once knew this, how the, the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So, you know, these guys that are following after these other guys, man, they're all condemned, man. They're all going to be destroyed, man. When that then thermonuclear devices pop off. Right, they're all going to be destroyed. And these, do you think these camps are teaching about reincarnation? The MOTB? You know, World War Three. What are they really teaching, man? They're teaching you how to survive in this world, how to be a part of this world, man. Right? That's what they're teaching you. In fact, let's go. Uh, Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto Yahweh which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and, perf and perfect will of the Most High so you see that be not conformed to this world man these guys are walking around in their fringed t-shirts caps on you know a camp teaching with caps and hats on you know, strapped up at camp, shades on in the middle of the night. They're talking in gang talk. It's just crazy, man. I mean, when I came into this thing, I never thought I'd see that. Because these guys, they weren't always like this. They, they're waxing worse and worse, man. As, the, as we get closer to the end, they're getting worse. They're getting further away from the truth and closer to the, to the left-hand side of things, man. Closer to Satan. That's not what I want to want first to me actually. Verse 3 6 and 1 says, Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honour, that the name of Yahweh and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And we can do that because. Our masters are the apostles, man, and they don't bring the, the, the they don't bring this truth into blasphemy, man. All right, 
and it will open and we can 100% vouch for that okay not that they need our vouching for it if you understand but we know this man through the spirit right you know they earnestly contend for the faith constantly they're constantly out there in the highways and byways bringing this truth out they've been doing it you know apostle to heart I believe 40 plus years man you know in season out of season man never bringing the truth into disrepute things have been corrected over the time because sometimes things are put out there and i'm not saying this is of the apostles but things have been corrected right because sometimes things come out in the wrong sense it's a learning process in this truth man but that's not the same as purposely um going off or purposely teaching um incorrect um doctrines man Verse 2 says, And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, beloved, part beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. And in these other camps, what they want to do is talk shit about the apostles, man. People who taught them who, the reason why they know the truth. Verse 3 says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse di disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. Meaning they have no truth, man. They are lacking it. Supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself, man. These guys, man, if you look at some of these guys, if some of these guys, right, if they, if these record companies run by these Amalekites, man, are the, the, our top enemy, right, them J double O's, man, so called, the so called J double O's, man. If they came to them, if they went down to where they teach and said, look, stop this. We'll give you a record deal, million dollars, blah blah blah. They'd be they'd throw this truth in the bin, man. They they throw this truth into the garbage and then run off with these Amalekites within the blink of an eye, man. Because they're not rooted. They have no foundation in this. It's just a game to them, man. And it's a deadly game they're playing, man. Because the most that's gonna destroy them, man. Anyway, I think I've made the point on that, so I want to close out here. Um, yeah, man, so, side note, or last final note, just, you know, those of you who, are, who would watch my videos, if anyone's watching them, you know, we know, I, you know we, I do this as my due diligence, man, right? To build up that um, spiritual bank account, as we say, man. I'm not trying to do anything for um, likes and views or whatever but if anyone does watch this man be circumspect in who who teaches you man or you apply the scriptures man and know you know know the men that you're supposed to learn from so anyway yeah with that um i'm gonna say shalom and lord willing this was edifying shalom